Yo, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Resident Evil 4 update patch notes video here on my channel. If you guys are new, make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel. Now let's go ahead and get right into it. Now Resident Evil 4 update 1.10, I never went over the patch notes, but I still want to go over, you know, some things and clarify a couple of things when it comes to Resident Evil 4 separate ways that came out the other day. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the new DLC for Resident Evil 4 Remake. I think it's a really good DLC. I think you guys should go buy it if you haven't already. I've beaten it. I might do professional mode. I'm not really too sure, but I'm thinking about it. But so far, when you install separate ways, you guys have to complete the whole entire game mode completely and you guys will unlock professional mode and then you guys can go on your trophy hunt and complete every single one we already went over the trophies for resident evil 4 separate ways so in my other video that i dropped you guys can already tell what trophies that you guys need to get when it comes to this new game mode but outside of that i want to go over the patch notes for 1.10 there's only three things that they've done within this new update and how can i forget about the regenerators in separate ways i hate these motherfuckers with a passion especially the second form of them because you have to shoot the spores in their body like this one right here they're more harder compared to the other one where you only have to shoot three but this one right here you got to shoot like four or five spots now what they did within update 110 they added separate ways they added the trophy support for it and they also did millennials bug fixes so i'm not sure what glitches are working in resident Evil 4 if you know any comment down below in this video i would love to know what glitches are working right now after update 1.10 because i really don't know too many glitches here in resident Evil 4 but but once you have beaten separate ways on resident Evil 4 remake you guys get professional mode you guys can go ahead and try and play that game mode it's really hard and if you can try and get a s plus tier rank with that good luck to you I hope you guys can beat it and you know after watching it like the post credits and stuff it seems to me that resident Evil 5 remake is definitely happening because albert wesker is like in the end of the cutscene and he's talking you know he's trying to destroy the world and all this stuff and it seems to me that resident Evil 5 remake might be in the works and i feel like it is so we might get resident Evil 5 remake in the future hopefully capcom can make that happen and I don't care about Resident Evil 6 because I hate that game. Resident Evil 7 is fine. Resident Evil Village, they don't need remakes or anything like that. So after Resident Evil 5 Remake, I think we're going to jump into Resident Evil 9 for next-gen consoles. So after you complete separate ways, you guys get two outfits that are exclusive once you complete it. And that's really, it. That's really all about it. That's it. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and I'll catch you on my next video. Peace out.